In the past hour, we learned of a verdict in a closely watched case in Northern Virginia. So a jury just found former Loudoun County School Superintendent Scott Ziegler guilty on one count and not guilty on another. Let's get into that. Good evening. Glad you're with us today at 4. I'm Adam Longo. And I'm Simone D'Alba. Our Katie Lusso has been following this case closely. And Katie, this was a split decision that we're hearing. Tell us more about it. Former Loudoun County School Superintendent Dr. Scott Ziegler has been found guilty of retaliating against a special education teacher for speaking out on a matter of public concern, but not guilty of penalizing her for testifying before a special grand jury. Now, just last Thursday, Ziegler's defense attorney had argued the charges should be dropped, but a judge denied that request and the trial began on Monday. Now, Ziegler was fired last December after a special grand jury report criticized LCPS's response to two sexual assaults on campus back in 2021. The independent investigation into those cases was recently released and revealed that there were serious shortfalls in communication. Now, just about 30 minutes ago, we received a statement from Attorney General Jason Miara saying justice has been served, that LCPS was thrown into the spotlight for all of the wrong reasons, and one of their casualties in all of this neglect neglect and mismanagement led to the retaliatory firing of a dedicated school teacher. Now, LCPS Public Information Officer Wade Byard has al had also been indicted, had also been indicted, but for felony perjury charges, he was, however, acquitted in June. Now, Ziegler, he faces up to 12 months in jail and or a $2,500 fine. He is scheduled to be sentenced on January 4th. Now, I just reached out to LCPS and heard back from them. They said they will not be commenting on this outcome. Well, we will closely be watching that sentencing and see what happens next. Katie, thank you.